Welcome back to Obscure Gaming, where I look at the lesser-known titles in the world of video games that are mostly bootlegs, although I have some not bootlegs up my sleeve, but not today. As today we have the opportunity to delve into a bit of a guilty pleasure of mine, and that's Yu-Gi-Oh, if that counts as a guilty pleasure. Yes, the four kids dub could be corny and bad, but I fell in love with the show, and even though my interest in the actual show started to wane as the seasons got a little silly with their surfboards and whatnot, one thing I continued to love was the actual card game. Sure, it's not the most complicated card game out there, and I can't really stand one-touch kill decks, but it's a fun game, and really the only thing Konami has going for it at the moment. And so, to celebrate the series, I present to you Yu-Gi-Oh! for the NES. Now the story of Yu-Gi-Oh! is well known around the world. Boy with funny hair holds the spirit of Pharaoh with funny hair inside of him, and together they cheat at a card game that's aimed towards a younger audience who you'll never see actually playing the game. At least that goes for Duel Monsters. Season 0 and everything after Season 1 is a whole other story that I didn't watch except for some of Season Zero, which is where I believe this game takes place, based solely on the fact that during the beginning, you're shown with your friends, Grandpa and Bakura, Bakura being someone who normally wouldn't be seen with the full group because they have far more important things to do than hang around with him. In the case of this game though, Kaiba has seemingly invited Yugi and the gang over to what I assume is a dragon-themed youth center, so that he can prove he's better than Yugi, a task he'll inevitably fail at and then mock the heart of the cards in friendship. Though, in a twist, Kaiba makes Yugi's friends and Grandpa and Bakura vanish into thin air, and it's up to him and the person who lives inside him, who actually does all the work, to stop Kaiba and save your minions. Or at least this is the story I was able to piece together as I don't actually read anything that's being said in this game. So, I was left to my own devices. What I can understand, though, is gameplay. Because... I don't read instruction manuals in real life. And Yu-Gi-Oh! for the NES is a turn-based RPG, following in the footsteps of some of the official games, which missed the point completely and weren't actually about the card game, and instead involved capsules or dice, or someone's bad fanfiction that inserted Yu-Gi-Oh! characters into the War of the Roses. And granted, for what those games were, they were fine. Although, I personally enjoy the games that emulate the actual card game more, but that's just me. Either way, I'm sure Konami would be very proud of the direction that this bootleg took. Now, the game is split into two sections. One where you'll walk around the youth center as Yugi and provoke people into fighting you so that you can level up your monsters. The second section features you as Yami Yugi, or Atem, walking around what seems to be a game board land of some kind, in which you'll fight random battle monsters and level up your monsters, with the goal of this section being to make it to a boss, defeating them, and then reclaiming one of your friends in the form of an adorable trophy. Though before you get any silly ideas about progressing the plot right off the bat, uh, go ahead and get comfy in this first area because you're gonna need some time to talk to people over and over again and do the same battles over and over again to level up your squad, or at the very least, two of them, if you hope to stand a chance against any of the upcoming battles in the game. And this is vital because if any of your creatures die, they can't be revived, to my knowledge. So you're gonna want to take a better safe than sorry approach and just level everyone up to a disgusting amount of experience to where you can just brute force your way through the game. And when you're ready, progress over to game board land for the first time, encounter some random battles, fight a boss, save a friend, be put back into the youth center, only a different section, and repeat this method until the game eventually ends. Now from what I can tell based on my own personal experience, combat doesn't seem all that complicated. There are two on two fights with all of your moves being decided by the roll of a dice. Like in every RPG, except this one actually shows you the dice. Your roll will affect not only what move you'll do, standard or special, but how much damage it'll do, and whether or not the attack will even hit. You have very little, if any, control over how battles will go, so again, and I can't stress this enough, 
power level as much as you can. As when this much in an RPG is left up to pure chance, you may as well bank on doing a ton of damage and just taking out the enemies in a hit or two. Now, overall, the gameplay is interesting. It's certainly reminiscent of Pokemon to a degree, only worse. So it's like a better version of Animorphs. But I can't say it's a particularly fun game, as it's a simple chance-based, grind-heavy style of RPG with no real charm to hold one's attention. So, as a game, it's definitely lacking. Though, it's important to remember that this is not just some mere game, this is a bootleg. The fact that this game functions at all is a plus towards the game. The people who made it are master programmers, clearly. And while the mechanics may be questionable, there's nothing inherently awful about the game, especially when taking the bootleg aspect into the equation. So, all in all, Yu-Gi-Oh! is a better game than I thought it would be in terms of gameplay. Mediocre all around, but pretty good for bootleg standards. And in keeping with the good, we have the visuals, which are exactly what they need to be. A ripoff of Pokemon. All these sprites are taken directly from Pokemon, and of course, our main characters are done up in the same style. Which works. They look pretty good, and there are even some recognizable monsters from Duel Monsters in the game. Granted, some of them were altered to the point of, I'm not really sure what you are. But I, on more than one occasion, said, hey, that's probably from the show. Like with this one, this Charizard, for example, who is my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card and Pokemon card. So it's great to see that he made it into the game. Backgrounds are sufficient. Nothing special, especially the youth center, which just looks like any indoor location in a Pokemon game. And even some of the open roaming random battle areas aren't necessarily anything that are going to win any awards for visual prowess, but they still do what they need to do and serve their purpose well enough. For that, I can't really complain. Now, if complaints are what you want, welcome to the audio portion of the game, where things tend to be a bit more bland and repetitive and stolen from other games. Battle music, something you'll probably hear the most of anything else in the game, is really grating on the ears. Mind you, I did a lot of grinding, so I heard the song a lot more than a normal person should have, but here's a little listen anyways. It's not necessarily bad, but I don't want to hear the song anymore. Now certain other tracks from the game I don't really mind looped, like this Yu-Gi-Oh classic. Yeah, that was the Chocobo theme. It's my favorite song in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! Except for the Season Zero theme song, because that was the best song. Uh, overall though, music isn't terrible, but as someone who's played more of this game than he'd like to admit, I'm really sick of most of the music from this game. That's just me though. But that's Yu-Gi-Oh! for the NES. An interesting little bootleg that I'll never play again. Gladly. Uh, as far as bootlegs go, this one is surprisingly good. Sure, not at all an accurate representation of Yu-Gi-Oh, but it's a functional RPG with no real standout issues other than nitpicks on my end. And if it interests you, by all means, track it down and get sick of it for yourself. But this has been Obscure Gaming. Thank you for watching. Hello everyone and welcome back to Enslate, where I was here earlier in the video. Hi, I'm Yuri of Wynn. Uh, you just watched a video, uh, an obscure gaming, if you will, on Yu-Gi-Oh! for the NES, which I hope you enjoyed. Um, it's a video I made. Uh, but that video, that's in the past.
and we're about looking into the future. So let's let's move on to the future of Enslay, even though you know there's no annotations anymore. So I'm not even really sure how to do Enslay. I'm going through transition slate on a personal side of things. So you know, bear with me. Uh, uh, top of the screen, you'll see two videos. You can't click on them yet. Don't try. It'll just pause the video. Uh, but there, there are going to be two videos. One will be the last video I did on this channel, which is which, it was a bullshit creepypasta story time uh, archived from a stream. I read three stories. Um, I only remember the Nurse Joy one. And then there was two other ones. Um, but yeah, if, if you want to check that out, then during the last 20 seconds of this video, you'll be able to click on that. Uh, or you can go to my channel and probably get there faster. Um... I'm not sure. The other video, <laughs> that's just going to be some video. Maybe Pokemon Snap. I don't know why. I'm just, I'm thinking Pokemon Snap. Because why not? Uh, bottom of the screen, uh, social media. I have social media. <laughs> there, you know, it's in the description as well. But, you know, I have a Twitter and a Facebook and a, a Twitch. Uh, I got asked to join the affiliate program. That didn't go well, um, but it was a waste of a couple days, so eh, that's nothing. Um, so if you want to check any of that out, feel free to. And then, of course, there's Nico, and Nico, he does the art. I don't know where he's gone. I haven't heard from him for a while, but, uh, you know, I assume he still does the art. And, um, let's see, uh, oh, if you like the video and you want to like it, or share it or subscribe to this channel or hit that bell because subscribing isn't good enough for YouTube anymore um, that all helps and I appreciate it very deeply so thank you although I won't force you to do it I couldn't force you to do it anyways so eh, there you go um, and speaking of things and transitioning uh, patreon thanks to patreon people Oops, that <laughs> fell apart so quickly. Um, Patreon is a website, and I made a Patreon, and then people uh, supported me on Patreon, and because they've been able to do that, I've been able to continue making videos despite a lot of family issues. Uh, I've been able to help my family, um, as well as upgrade some equipment, still uh, working on the computer thing. Uh, but we're gonna get there someday, you know, and it's gonna be great. I'm gonna do a video on Persona 4 dancing all night, and no one can stop me. Except maybe, uh, copyright claims by Atlas. But, you know, them aside, Persona 4 dancing all night. Um, and I love each and every one of the people who has supported me on Patreon, uh, even though I'm, there's a, there's a part of me that still doesn't know why anyone does, and there's a part of me who's also thinking, you know, there's someone who's watching the sense light thinking, why is he still fucking talking? Um, I'm not done yet, by the way, because um, this is just how Enslate works. That's why you won't be able to click on stuff until the last 20 seconds. But uh, yeah, so I I wanna I wanna thank the lovely folks who have patreoned me uh patrons is what i believe they're called um i'm sorry i'm off today uh i want to thank them the only way i know how by thanking them Cause that seems like a good idea and so much love and thanks go out to christopher ubin lily starflame ben shaw Darth Penguin, Nikki Batelli, Brandon Cohen, which I almost said something completely different. Gotta pull up my glasses a bit. Harley Crawley, Lab, I think I said that right. Lab547. Brian, He He Ho, Grace, Brendan Wilbanks, JJ Rubin, Nikki Layman, Sally from Three Ice Cube Show, D Man's Land. How's it going, D Man? Oh, oh, by the way, D-Man asked me when Marvel was. Uh, next time I stream, I'll think about streaming Marvel. Because that'll be super depressing if I go online. 
Uh, but thank you, Jacob Sifford. I'm sorry, Sifford. I'm an idiot. Uh, thank you, Tio Centauri. Did you know I'm an idiot? Uh, thank you, Boltron, Skyward Keyblade, Joseph Constantine, Christina Coleman, Doc Drazen, Aaron Brewington, David Friesley, Fernando Silva, Rodrigo Derez, Beautiful Yoshi, Nat, Abdul Kareem Torres, Paul Walker. Thank you, Seth Hine. And thank you, Stabola? 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 St I'm, I'll think about you. Uh, thank you, Mitchell Shore. The wheels on the bus go die, die, die. Erlen Mattis Rees. Wade Tomorrow. A.O. Breezy. Richard Lahiff. Greg Wolf. Vicious Phantom. Mr. Bowler, who I believe may be the greatest bowler who's ever lived. Robert, who I may believe. I'm gonna shut up. Um, Brennan McKinnon. Mitchell Jenda. Sergio Karazan. McGamers. Mio Kurushima. Kurush I, I always like Kurushima. Uh, except when they're grapes. Uh, Jasteria. Thank you, Matt Jonas. Rory O'Carroll. Kenpachi Ramasama. Lori Argentum. Argentum? Thank you. Uh, thank you, Anthony Mang. Squiggly Kip. Crow Feathers. Thank you, Fat D. Who, uh... It's... I, I love Fat D. I, I love all of you, but Fat D, yeah, it's been with me all my life. Uh, thank you, Eric Comments Joe, Jonathan Klaus, Joseph Hitsky, Ryan Cole, Jacob Epler, uh, Fantastic Hair Man Desu. Uh, I got your message. Thank you, um, River Casey, and of course, thank you, everyone else. Thank, thank you all. I, from the bottom of my heart, I love each and every one of you. And I'm trying my best to make more content on a regular basis. Um, despite the forces of nature really trying to fuck that up. Hey, I wonder how long this insulate's been going on for. Oh, right! Almost ten minutes! <laughs> Someone's gonna be mad. Oh, God. Um, well, I better end things. So... <laughs> Shit. Um... Hey, I'll see you all next time on Enslay, where we'll go on for a really long time. When I, as I thank the people I love and ramble about things. Um, be sure to watch Common Rider next week. Uh, I'll see you guys next time on Enslay.